the Sage has welcomed many extraordinary musicians in its short history. But now, here's a story of the most remarkable. Ten years ago, trumpeter Clarence Adu was seriously injured in a car accident. Despite being paralyzed from the shoulders down, he always believed that he would perform in front of a live audience again. Julia Hankin has been listening in. I think because it had been such a big part of me, probably since the age of six I, I started, and I just couldn't imagine life without it. He said to me once that to play in an orchestra or in front of a crowd again would mean more to him than actually walking, which I found astounding. Hello, Clarence. How are you doing, mate? Very well. Good. How are you? <laughs> it's more than ten years since his last concert in this country. Today, Clarence Adu is meeting his band for the first time in eight months to start rehearsals. It's a critical moment. In less than two days, they'll be on stage in front of hundreds at the region's most prestigious music venue, the Sage Gateshead. There's a vast amount to practice and very little time. You haven't had the sounds yet, so you're no, starting no. from scratch. Yes. God, Lord, it's already quarter past. I know. You get cracking. Mm. We'll, 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 um... See you in a little while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right yeah, off. Yeah. We're all mad. I mean, this is crazy. We, sh we should be taking three weeks to do this. But we haven't got three weeks, so we'll do it in two days. In 1995, Clarence was one of this country's most talented and admired trumpeters. But that year, he was almost killed in a car crash. The accident left him paralyzed from the shoulders down. He would never play his beloved trumpet again. I miss it in a big way. I'm so pleased still, though, to be involved in music. Um, but I, I miss it particularly if I'm listening to a concert and I remember the trumpet lines and I hear them, you know, played by the orchestra. Clarence couldn't even scratch his own nose, let alone blow a trumpet. He thought he would never perform again. But four years ago, a German designer built Clarence an instrument he could play. Headspace was invented and Clarence reborn. The headset that I'm wearing has uh, sensors either side of my head and one on top. And when I move my head uh, from side to side here, it's moving a, a mouse around the screen, and uh, when um, I get the mouse over the desired notes that I want to activate, I blow into this tube, and uh, that enables me to um, get the sounds uh, started. <laughs> on headspace, you're relying on modern technology. Do you trust it completely? No. So where do you think Clarence could take this ultimately? I, I could certainly develop it in such a way that he could have a, an instrument that he could play as a soloist. Because Clarence is really extraordinary. He's an extraordinary musician. Knowing Clarence as you do now, uh, what do you think it means to him to be performing? He said, this is the first time since my accident that I felt like a musician again, and not like a disabled musician. Uh, I know for a fact that uh, he's really excited about it. Uh, it. It's difficult for him to show his excitement, because he can't jump around. Uh, but I think it means a great deal to him. Clarence's band is also called Headspace. Clarence, are you triggering the wind at bar 20? 19. 19, yeah. It's great. It sounds nice. That no, sounds nice. It's going well, but they've set themselves a tough challenge. The music actually is very, very difficult, and um, so um, there's quite a few uh, uh, different uh, technical things that I need to do, but I'm not used to doing. To be playing here um, in the Sage Gates Head is uh, very, very special. Good. How are you? Again. And you, boy. How's, How's it going? going? Yeah, very well, very well. Clarence played with the legendary jazz saxophonist Courtney Pine for five years. By coincidence, Courtney's on tour and playing at the Sage. The idea is that you go on stage and you get to that point of no return. You're actually playing something that you've never played before. Is that terrifying or exciting? It's, it's really exciting. And what's even more exciting is when you use new software or bring out a new equipment, you know, uh, uh, or work on stage for a new, in, you know, new musician. You don't know what's going to happen. Are they going to make it? Are they going to make it through the first tune, for the first solo? Um, 
that that's priceless it's almost like an out-of-body experience for me like these rehearsals that i'm doing now it's not just a case of playing the notes and stuff there's all other things that are going on you know yeah. oh i need to be listening i need to be doing this i need to be yeah. on the edge of my seat sort of thing you know? yeah yeah um, um and all that comes with performing it's very 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 exciting very and the other thing is you know i, I may have a saxophone in my hand but that's not the instrument. The instrument is no, the person. Yeah, definitely. You know, yeah. and that's why I'm excited yeah. about what you're doing. Yeah, because this yeah. is a whole new instrument. Absolutely. It's the night of the concert. So, at minutes before performance time, yeah. and how are you feeling? Um, great. Uh, yeah. Uh, excited. Um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. And so is Emma Forbes, who's travelled up from London. She was in the car with Clarence when it crashed. How do you think he's feeling about tonight? Underneath Clarence's cool exterior, I think it would be a very, very emotional experience for him because he's never stopped being a musician. And is it emotional for you too? I was in the hospital when he nearly wasn't with us anymore and to see him come this far, I think will probably hit me. And I don't know what the music is going to be like, but if it's... Any kind of emotional music, that will probably set me off a bit. So. Harry, what did you think? Amazing. Very, very, very good. Was it strange seeing Clarence perform again? What was really strange was it, it didn't seem any different from when he was able-bodied to performing there. At the end, it was just an amazing feeling. And I think Clarence, I could tell he was really involved in it. He was totally focused. And then you could just tell, a little smile at the end, that he's really enjoyed it. It's nerve-wracking, apprehensive, and everything else, and you know, um, probably a bit of all the emotions going there. I think. Do you feel like a musician again? Yes, I do. Clarence Adu back topping the bill. Well, that's it from us. But we've a top-billing programme of our own next week.